community to the country. We, the leaders of ABC, AD, BNP, and RCL, are fully cognizant of the mandate of the electorate to, to work tirelessly for peace and stability, as well as economic recovery and prosperity. We have invited the members of the press to announce that we accept in full and without any hesitation this profound mandate to assuage the long-standing aspirations of this nation. In this respect, we intend to form a government of all Basotho without any form of discrimination, a government that is committed to the rule of law, reunification of the nation, good governance, rebuilding and strengthening of the pillars of democracy, and abhors corruption in all its forms. We reject, we reject the divisive statements made deliberately to sow disunity in our communities. As a first step, we reunify the nation. We, are, we hereby declare our openness to work with other political parties which share the goal of a peaceful and well-governed Minnesota. We hope that those who will remain in opposition will do so loyally as democratic norms require. We have noted with concern statements to the effect that ABC will eliminate the defense force. We have noted with great concern stupid statements to the effect that ABC will eliminate the Lesotho defense force. And are we that stupid? And the army is part and parcel of the tapestry of this country. We trust that the members of these forces will see this as a mere falsehood. We are committed to moving quickly with security sector reforms so that we can protect the security forces from selfish politicians that preserve themselves in power using national institutions such as the LDF and the LMPS. This is the end of our joint statement. Also, My name is Bonnie Wesley Sangu. I'm a journalist for the public eye. Um, while I understand it's important that uh, this announcement has just been made, I'd like to go to take it a bit backwards to, to February to the vote of no confidence that uh, you propagated in Parliament and succeeded. Would you say the outcome of the June 3 elections um, reflects uh, the no confidence vote? Would you say uh, the manner in which the electorate voted was some sort of a um, uh, protest vote against the DCLC debate? Secondly, this one is directed at you. Do you feel vindicated? This is what I'm asking. When you resigned from cabinet along with several other ministers, you described that as a revolution, a revolt against the Tumsi city's government. You went on to oppose um, the call for elections, saying it was not necessary, that it was a waste of money that the Tumsi city was just trying to save face. Now that the Tumsi city um, <laughs> has been deposed of. This is that's what, this is where my question is um, is coming from. And lastly, that the Tavani, uh, clearly there has been a surge uh, in the ABC numbers. 
Um, you have made inroads with the ABC, particularly in those that the rural and the highlands constituencies previously <laughs> believed to be strongholds of the Congress movement, but somehow you have made inroads. But would you say uh, the fact that the election, the votes have been swayed in your favor, could it be the very same fact that people were opposed to the DC LCD pact? Thank you.
connected to electricity, or the number of kilometers of new roads, or the number of scholarships for which some students have paid with their life, it would come to a very clear, tangible indication that we never needed to have an election. So yes, I have been uh, vindicated. There was no need for a general election. A patriotic prime minister who knew that the result would be as it is today should have had the humility and the patriotism to accept a change of government in power. <laughs> Regarding whether the Prime Minister had a right to opt for an election, of course he did. But it was unpatriotic, inconsiderate, very selfish. Intransigent. <laughs> we didn't need that intransigence. Um, so maybe I should I should stop at this. Thank you very much. But <laughs> Come on.